Do we need to stop collecting all of this stuff? Or at least slow it down? Growing up, I always had some kind of collection, as I think most of us probably have. Be it magazines, be it comics, He-Man figures. Who's the big guy with the muscles? You're He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Or even video games. And then, as I got older, my collecting, it turned to movies. Welcome to Blockbuster Video. Blockbuster Video, wow. I'd buy my favorite movies on VHS and watch them over and over again. They'd sit proudly on my shelves like my Blu-ray do today. A few of them would come to a friend's house with me or when visiting family so I could make use of their players and share the enjoyment. Every purchase I made, it was well considered and used frequently. As time went on though, things kind of changed. The need to collect and accumulate all of this stuff, it became a monster. The retailers started to tap into our wants and our needs for our collections. The need for a large collection, the need for a limited edition, and the need to shop in the sales. They started offering up more and more options. And as a movie fan, I wanted whatever I could get, and I didn't hold back. So why stop collecting or slow it down? Collecting in large numbers, it can sometimes have consequences for us all, be it a dwindling bank balance, a collection taking up far too much space, the hoarding, the double dipping, but these aren't the things I'm talking about today. Ooh, so what the fuck is it? My worry, the thing that's on my mind at the moment. When did we seem to stop caring about the movies and start to care more about the collecting. I love my movies, but somehow I've been swept away in the collecting and accumulating process, which has somehow dulled my enjoyment. Oh, boo hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Of the things that I've been collecting, because it seems now to have become more of a thing of what's next? What's the next thing arriving? What pre-orders have I got? What's coming soon? What's in the sale? You know what I'm talking about. It feels like it's become a race. A race to get the next collector's edition of a movie that we already own. I feel consumed by the chase of the next thing, or the limited thing, or the thing that has a slipcover. I think sometimes we can all get a little bit swept away in the need of having more and more to show how much we love these movies. But to some extent, it no longer feels like it's about the movies. It just seems to be about the ownership of these movies. I'm kind of tired of it. Tired of no longer taking the time that I once did to enjoy a release in full. Now, I might watch a movie once, but then off to the shelf it goes. There's a space for you. There's a space for you. And you can sit in the to be sorted pile, which will possibly get sorted in about five years time. And that's because something else has arrived that I need to get to. Or Netflix have dropped the latest season of Cobra Kai. Just make sure the Cobra Kai snake comes in at the end, all right? I want it to really pop. Make a chrome. As a movie fan, I used to love delving into the extras that would get on a package like this. The physical media discs that held behind the scenes footage, deleted scenes, gag reels, interviews. But now, all that energy and time that I had to delve into and enjoy all of the extra features, is kind of gone. There's now just too much focus being poured into what's next. What limited edition is there coming out that I can get an upgrade on a disc that I already own? I've somehow lost that time. The time to truly appreciate some of these releases. I want it back. The fear of missing out, it's playing a massive part in this problem too. Just look at all these releases that we're getting through the winter period that are coming out in limited edition form. Limited edition. That means that if we don't get it on pre-order, we might miss out. Well, yeah, that's true. But then again, what 
do we really want from these limited editions? Sure, sometimes it's nice to get all these specially produced extra goodies like the postcards, the posters, the hard box, the booklets. But again, are we getting distracted from the heart of why we're collecting? The movie. I mean, really, I don't always need a limited edition thing. When all of the good stuff, it's on the disc of a standard release anyway. And another thing, a good portion of these limited editions, they're re-releases. And generally, they're movies we already own. Movies that are just tarted up in new clothing. And sometimes, it's the same old disc. But the retailers are distracting us, like a cat with a laser pen. I'm being distracted by the laser, looking at what's next, what's coming soon, what pre-orders are there. All this time spent browsing, this could be time that I can sit enjoying a movie or taking in some of the extras. I want to stop focusing on what's next and focus on the things that I already have and the reasons for picking them up in the first place. My collection and my collecting, it got to a place where things were being placed on a shelf and pretty much forgotten about. They sit here, still all sealed, kind of out of sight, out of mind. And after a while, as your collection grows, looking for a particular title or remembering a particular title, it's kind of like looking for a needle in a haystack. I think we need to sit and just think about why we collect. Is it really for the love of movies? Or is it purely to gather and collect as many titles as you possibly can? Is it worth slowing down collecting so you can fully appreciate the discs that you have or the new discs that are coming through? Or are you also just trapped in a cycle of the fear of missing out? I think I know now that I don't need it all. I never needed to have it all. The collecting habit, it's left me with a large collection that I'm now working through culling. And that's all because for me, it became more about the collecting than the actual movie. I want to love my movies and my discs again, rather than being carried away by that addiction to collect. I don't need to collect the steel books. I don't need the limited edition hard box, as nice as they are. I just want the content. And I also want to claw that time back from all of the hunting for the next title, the limited edition, which would allow me to actually stop and enjoy the content that I already have. If you're also struggling with collection issues, I discuss more topics in the video playlist that I'll put just here. Or this video right here is where I started wondering if I was hoarding and accumulating too much physical media.